Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft. No fancy intro, no skits, no sound effects, just Minecraft. No thoughts, only Minecraft. So it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these chill, just talking type videos. In case you're wondering why I already have a bunch of stuff, I got a realm for the Discord server for sort of the month of December. And seeing as this is sort of a once off type video, I didn't want to make a new world. I'm currently making like the most random pointless staircase. So I'm going to try and finish that while I make this video. Also rocking mad A. Hey. She's such, she is such a baddie, even in Minecraft. Oh, also, by the way, I'm messing around with some settings on my microphone to make it sound a little different. So let me know if the audio from this is garbage. I really hope it isn't. For some reason, it like, I'm kind of into sound. I wouldn't quite consider myself an audiophile, not to be confused with the thing that Dream is. Allegedly. I should also clarify, uh, that, that was a joke. That wasn't serious. Please don't send me a cease and desist. I've gotten a cease and desist before, but uh, that's a, that's a story for a different day. But I do know a little bit about audio, but like not enough that I am struggling a little bit to find out how I should edit the audio of my microphone. Audio is one of those things. I think it's both very underrated and overrated. I think when starting a YouTube channel, the first thing you should prioritize is good audio. Nobody's going to want to watch a video with dog shit audio. But also at the same time, I think a lot of people freak out about having background noise in their video. And I feel like stuff like that people don't actually care about. I don't, I don't think anyone cares if a car drives past the background as long as it doesn't sound like you're talking out of a Logitech webcam, then I think you're all good. Okay, so this is what we're rocking with at the minute. <laughs> if we look up, this goes all the way up. Also, where I'm living is on top of a hill, which made it even worse. This goes down over 130 levels. Like, look at this, man. Why do, why do I do this? I don't know why I find it therapeutic. Like, I've said this before, the reason I play Minecraft. Oh, look, someone joined. Oh, my God. Hello. The only reason I play Minecraft anymore is just like late at night when I'm like listening to a podcast or something and I would just I want something to do in the background that I don't really have to focus on. So I always end up building just the most random stuff from the top. It actually looks so cool. So this is what we're going to be working on today. Hey, yo, what the bees doing in there? So there's a couple of reasons why I'm making this video today. For one, it's the end of the year. This will probably go up. I'm going to say either New Year's Day or the day after. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the year we've had together. How, how cute is that, guys? Our first year together. It's so weird. Like I started back making YouTube videos around the start of the summer this year. And I already had 800 subscribers from making videos the years prior. But I feel like the audience I have now is like 99% just completely new subscribers. So this is kind of our first year together at the start of the summer i was really struggling for video ideas and i was always worrying about like oh what game am i gonna play next i don't really want to play the same game two videos in a row but now i have so many video ideas that i'm i'm kind of worried that i'm not gonna get around to all of them also i wanted to make this video because my sleep schedule oh man this has to be the worst it's ever been like in my entire life i remember there was a while when call of duty world war 2 came out and for like the first week of the game me and my friends were staying up until like eight in the morning playing the game oh fuck me what? You just said fuck me and then go, oh. Wasn't me. <laughs> you know, you already know that's getting taken out of context. <laughs> But I could still go to bed, sleep for like nine hours and wake up at 4 p.m. And then that night, go to bed early and wake up at a normal time the next day. Like I used to be able to do that. I can't do that anymore. Man, I... Beard's gotta go. I I can't. We gotta hurry up and get top 500k in Osu, man. I can't do the beard anymore. Looks wise, I don't mind the beard. I kind of like change. And I like that I can grow a beard because it means that I can mess around with like different hairstyles and beard styles and stuff. And after a while, the beard just gets annoying, man. Like the, the mustache, I can like feel it. And just like, I can feel it when I talk. We're getting pretty close though. I think I'm only like 60k ranks away from top 500k Osu. Man, oh my god. Baby zombies and spiders in Minecraft gotta be up there with the top worst video game hitboxes of all time. Also up in that category would be League of Legends support champions. Oh 
Okay, this is where we're at. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? That's pretty close. Even if we can get the staircase done, like not necessarily all the blocks above it or the blocks on the wall, if we can just get the staircase down to the ground, that'd be pretty cool. So this year's been like not too bad, I guess. A little bit of a rough ending hurting my wrist and then my computer dying. Like that really slowed down my groove there. Like I was getting into such a good stride with making and editing videos. I've still been managing to just about get two videos out every week, but they're going up at really late times. Like I'm staying up until like six or seven sometimes editing. I'm not trying to be a Christmas hater, okay, guys? I'm not a Scrooge. I'm not a Grinch. But the short days just aren't it. The short days ain't it, Chief. When it's getting dark at 3 p.m. and I'm waking up at 1, getting two hours of daylight, like, oh, man, it is so depressing. But we're, we're already over that hump. December 21st is long gone, so we're getting there, guys. Hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Spring is on the way. Going forward into 2024, though, I would like to experiment a little bit with longer form videos. More so stuff like, let's say, The Last of Us 2, right? I would like to try playing it and just making making like a 40 or 50, maybe even hour long video on it, doing literally zero editing, but upload it as a bonus video during the week, you know? So still have my normal videos at the start and the end of the week, but then just for the duration of that series, post like two hour long videos a week. But if there was any games like that, that kind of piqued my interest or that you guys wanted to see, I would like to try doing that in 2024. I'm getting so engrossed in this that I just stopped talking for like five minutes there. We could do a little bit of a little bit of Minecraft ASMR. Okay, let me take a little break from doing sort of the walls and just focus on getting the staircase down as low as possible. This is my first time playing Minecraft in so long. I played a little bit at the start of the year when I came back to making videos. Like the first video back I made was Minecraft, but that was what, like two, maybe three videos? That was like two, maybe three videos. I said earlier, I'm someone that likes change, but I also tend to get kind of caught up in the past, reminisce on stuff like how good Minecraft used to be in the glory days of Minecraft and all that. I like I like the game. I think I think it's in kind of a cool spot. It's a tricky one to sort of describe. I think a lot of Minecraft players, especially old school ones, are just way too caught up in nostalgia. Like Minecraft was so incredibly massive. I mean, like when you actually, when you think about it, I would say Minecraft at its peak popularity was a bigger deal than Fortnite was at its peak. And when you were in the depths of that stuff, like it, I feel like it's just kind of hard to almost let go of that, you know? But I think the game currently is actually really fun and I can see why it's still popular, especially with people that are just now getting into Minecraft. The amount of stuff you can do is crazy. I would still say though, they're taking it in a weird direction. I feel like the whole draw of Minecraft was that it was really simple. And yet like the stuff you could do in it was kind of of endless and in a way by adding more stuff to the game although it's still technically endless there's kind of like clear-cut things that you should maybe do like you should go to the end and defeat the boss visit the warden you should defeat the wither i think all of these things are really cool i think the warden is amazing the other day when i first saw one like it genuinely terrified me like i was i was actually my heart was actually racing the game i guess is just sort of implying that you should do these things and it kind of just yeah i guess takes away from the simplicity of the game anyway old my Minecraft better. That's the, that's the whole moral of this entire video. Old Minecraft better. I hope you guys had a good 2023. Curious to know if you guys have any resolutions. Personally, not really a resolution kind of guy. I don't, I don't want to dumpster anyone that makes resolutions, man, but I feel like if you really want to make a change, like you shouldn't have to wait for a new year. I can see why people see the new year as an exciting time to like change themselves, I guess, or better themselves. I think part of the reason I hate it is I'm big into health and fitness, which is probably like the most popular resolution. And I just, I hate the fitness industry so much. It's such a fake industry. You're you're doomed to fail. Like if your New Year's resolution is to get in shape, you're doomed to fail. And it's not even it's not even your fault. Just like all the personal trainers that have no idea what they're doing, influencers trying to sell you their bullshit workout programs, companies trying to sell you fake supplements, like supplements that don't even work. Like fitness, getting in shape is so simple. It might be easy, but it's simple. The fitness world just overcomplicates it so much. And there's 
it just makes me hate resolutions because you see all these people January 1st getting in the gym trying to better themselves but like they've been sold a lie. I gotta stop myself here. I could rant about this for hours. I'm just now starting to realize I need to be careful where the stairs comes down because it's probably gonna get set on fire by the lava and then burn. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I would do if this staircase burned like all the way up. Oh my god. Oh, let's go. Oh, that is so epic, Poggers. See, like, it's it's not the same anymore, guys. I found diamonds, and I guess it's cool, but just don't be hitting like it used to. I had this thought recently. It'd be really cool if they treated Minecraft kind of like a competitive video game where they would add and remove stuff to see what the community thought of it before making it a more permanent feature in the game. I know they have the whole voting thing, but when it comes to adding stuff to the game, they more so decide, like, hey, we are going to add this. Pick your favorite one. I think another big issue is... And I don't, I don't really know exact numbers on this one, but there is probably a hard 50-50 divide of old school players that are going to constantly be telling the devs, like, you need to go back. You need to go revert to monkey. And then a bunch of new players that are like, you guys should totally add a giant Gwen boss in Minecraft. And when you defeat her, she shoots milkies from her booba. I don't know why that was on my mind. See, normally I would cut that out the video. Yeah, I guess, I guess we're kind of going in raw. Did you, go, what was you, did you hear that? My breastbone popped. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but I'm gaming for a long time and I'm in that sort of like gamer posture. When I like sit up straight again, my breastbone pops. I googled it. Apparently it's cancer. Okay, look at that. We're actually getting pretty close. I think it is. I think it is going to end kind of like right here. So we might have to patch up some of that lava. And I'm also not sure. I don't think this stack of wood is going to get us there. I think we are going to need a little bit more. Oh yeah, this is this is cutting it way too close. I need to Google this actually. How far can lava spread? Lava can set flammable blocks of flame in a three by three square directly above the lava and a five by five square above that. There needs to be three blocks of space vertically between the wood and lava. Two blocks if the block directly under the wood is non-flammable. The fuck? You know what? I think we just play it safe. Actually, wait. One, two, three. Yeah. 100% that would have caught on fire. There we go. That's it. Oh my god. Finally. Holy shit. It looks a little bit goofy the way it just comes down here. I'm gonna need to like frame it some bit. Or I might just like the same way I'm doing the wall kind of at the top. I might do that like kind of up here. But let's go. Oh my god. That is so sick. Completely pointless. But uh, really, really cool. <laughs> now the game plan. I'm gonna like hollow out a massive area down here. And essentially like build a house and a forest. Like build my own forest down here. So that I don't have to go to the surface to get trees. So that's gonna be the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys had a good 2023 and we'll have an even better 2024 thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one